Hey, this is the shack that Dennis built. Glad you joined us today. And today we're going to check the heating element on our hot water heater. Doesn't seem like we're getting enough hot water to our tub. It's only filling up halfway before it starts to cool down. So we think that maybe one of these hot water, he hot water heating elements is bad. So we're going to test the top one. We're going to test the bottom one, see how it's done. But before we do, make sure you like my video, subscribe to my channel so you can see all my videos. Check it out. I got a lot of them. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn off the power because this thing's got a little bit of zap going to it. It's a 220 breaker. So we're going to go over here and we're going to go and it just happens to be right over here. We're going to open up our breaker box and let's see, it says the hot water heater is right there. So we're going to go ahead and turn that thing off. Uh, fortunately, we, you know, we it's it's really well uh, labeled for us. If it isn't well labeled, what you can do is it's always going to be a double breaker. So you can, if you really can't figure out which one, you can kill all the, the double breakers. But, you know, I don't see anywhere else. It says hot water heater there. So that's good news. So we're going to get to work now. So now that we got it off, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take off this top one. And... Uh, we need to get a screwdriver. All right, we'll pop it off. This has to be a regular screwdriver. This one here happens to be in a manufactured home, triple wide manufactured home. I'm gonna pull out a little bit of the stuffing here. And then there's this little plastic guard that we're gonna pull out. And you can see that <coughs> right up top, I suppose you can see it. There's a couple of wires coming in. That's where the power comes in. And right down here, that's where the heating element is. We're going to test it for power just to make sure that it's off. All right, so I've got my multimeter here. I've got it to volts. And I'm going to check it to make sure that there's no voltage going through the hot water heater. Throw this on here. Check for power. Make sure that the power's off. Doesn't matter whether you put the black one on one or the red one on the other doesn't make any difference in electrical and what we see is we got zero all right so now we're ready to test the hot water heater element so what we're going to do is we're going to take these two screws off of here because you, you should test it with it off i understand you can test it with it on but it, it may give you a false reading so that's one off We're going to set our multimeter to ohms. We had, we're, we had it set for uh, AC to check, see if it had any power to it. Now we're going to go to ohms. So we, we're going to get the little ohm sign over there. And we're going to go and check it. See how that looks. Put one lead on one screw, one lead on the other. All right. So here we got, we got 14 ohms. So that, that's good. And, uh, hot water heater element will usually go anywhere from 12 to, I don't know, 20 something from what I hear. So this one's good. We'll check the other one. Another screw to take off. And we're going to get the old multimeter out again. Oh, look at this. And this one's running 17. Now it's running 23. It's giving us some funky readings. Oh, look at that. Now it's registering 38. So, if it's giving you funky readings like that every time I put it on, it changes. That's probably bad. So, we're going to go ahead and change that out. So, I stopped by my local hardware store. I got this new heating element. 4,500 watts down here. Right here, I'll show you what it looks like. They got a little tag that tells you what you're supposed to get. 4,500. And then I bought this element wrench to go with it. I had one, but it, it just didn't work. It was an old one. So... This one better work. But look at that. $14.99, $15.99. It cost me as much to buy the, the wrench as it did to buy the uh, heating element. But we'll keep this. We'll make sure we have it for the future. Got the water off. Here we go. We're going to give it a try. And that's 
the old one, the new one in, get that thing screwed in. Now we'll go turn the water back on, make sure it doesn't leak. All right, well, I've changed this thing out. Seen a number of good years of service, giving us a lot of hot water, but it was time to say goodbye to the old element and hello to the new one. Hey, thanks for joining me on this little journey of testing the hot water heater element and putting a new element in the bottom so that we got hot water again for another hot bath. So we got all of it put back together. We'll put the cover back on in a minute, and this is the shack that Dennis built. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. See you next time.